Father said Jesus was on the cross of Calvary. He was in full pain. The blood was oozing out from the whole body. The crown of thorns was placed on his head. His clothes were destroyed, were torn apart. He was there in the pain on the cross of Calvary just to save us from our sins. But verse 34 Jesus said, "Father, forgive them for they don't know what they are doing." Hey, this is a great example. Hey, Jesus loved the enemies. What did Jesus say? Jesus said, "Father, forgive them." Who were these people? Hey, these are these are the same people whom who insulted Jesus Christ, who mocked Jesus Christ, who spat on his face, who put a crown of thorn on his on his head, who tore his clothes, who put the nail on his hand and feet. But still, Jesus, he was in the pain. He was praying to his father forgive them for they don't know what they are doing in one second jesus could have destroyed them jesus had the power to destroy all these people who were mocking him who were insulting him but jesus in order to save us he went to all the pain on the cross of calvary and he he loved his enemy he prayed to god father forgive them for they don't know what they are doing hey jesus wants us to love our enemies jesus wants us to bless our enemies hey jesus wants us to pray for our enemies but in the world is different the world says hey you have to hate your enemies you have to curse your enemies you have to wish bad things to your enemies you have to wish that their finances is destroyed you have to wish that their health is destroyed you have to wish that someone dies in the family you have to wish that hey their marriage is broken you have to wish that their house is destroyed this is what the world thinks about the enemy you have to destroy your enemies and it's so sad the same the same culture has come in our church i know some of the some of the christians they follow the worldly pattern they hate their enemies they curse their enemies they wish bad thing about their enemies they wish that their health is destroyed they wish that their finances is destroyed yes my dear brothers and sisters it's sad to say that is happening in our christian family now i'm speaking to all the christian i'm speaking to all the people belonging to the different denomination